Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju has slammed Sonia Gandhi for accusing the government of delegitimizing the judiciary and said it was a Congress party which in the past tried to gain control over the judiciary through various steps including the appointment of Chief Justice of India superseding several more senior Supreme Court judges. Kiran Rijiju also said that justice was being delayed in the country due to a lackadaisical attitude of a few lawyers and judges. He said he's often approached by people who say that justice is being delayed and urge him to expedite the justice delivery process. कई हजार करोड़ों का ये प्रपोजल आए हैं तो मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में हमने इतना जुडिशरी को ताकतवर बनाने के लिए काम किए हैं और आप अपने सोर्सेस से पता कर सकते हैं कि क्या क्या काम किए हैं क्योंकि बहुत विस्तार से काम हुआ है और साथ साथ जुडिशरी को मजबूत बनाए रखने के लिए हमने जुडिशरी को पूरा सम्मान भी दिया लेकिन कभी कभी आपको सुनने मिलता है कि सरकार और जुडिशरी के बीच में टेंशन है विवाद है और तालमेल नहीं है कभी कभी ऐसे भी सुनने में आता है कि हमने जुडिशरी का जो अथॉरिटी को अपने कब्जे में लेने के लिए कोशिश कर रहे हैं कभी कभी पॉलिटिकल स्टेटमेंट आते हैं तो हमारे लिए कमिटेड जुडिशरी फॉर द कंट्री और कुछ लोगों के लिए कमिटेड जुडिशरी मतलब उनके पार्टी के प्रति कमिटेड होना चाहिए लेकिन सवाल तब उठता है कि जब कोई संविधान को अपने अनुकूल उसको मोड़ने का कोशिश करते हैं तो प्रॉब्लम होता है मैंने कॉलेज का सिस्टम का बात उठाया था इसलिए जज जो काम करते हैं वो पब्लिक वोटिंग तो नहीं करेंगे लेकिन पब्लिक ओपिनियन में जरूर स्क्रूटनी होने वाला है सबसे पहले सुप्रीम कोर्ट के जो हमारे सीनियर जजेस हैं चीफ जस्टिस होते हैं बाकी सीनियर जजेस होते हैं और हाई कोर्ट्स में या लोअर कोर्ट्स में सब जजों को मैंने अपने तरफ से बहुत ही खुले मन से हमने कहा लेकिन दुख की बात यह है कि कभी कभी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में कुछ वकील ऐसे होते हैं उनका तुरंत डेट लग जाता है कुछ वकील एक अपेरेंस में तीस लाख चालीस लाख चार्ज करते हैं और कुछ वकील को काम ही नहीं मिलते हैं ऐसा क्यों कानून तो सबने पढ़ा है लेकिन कुछ लोग ऐसा होते हैं कि बड़े बड़े केस उसी के पास आते हैं और वो बैठे बैठे करोड़ों का कमाई करते हैं जो बड़े वकील होते हैं वो भी ये कोशिश करें कि छोटे छोटे जो जूनियर हैं नए नए वकालत कर रहे हैं उनको उभरने का मौका दे पूरा कब्जा करके मत बैठिए केस बांटिए लोगों को सिखाइए उसको भी उठने दीजिए And now you have former Congress leader and senior Supreme Court advocate Kapil Sibal, who's also hit back at Kiran Rijiju, saying next time the client should ask Rijiju as to who they should consult. There are politicians too who make a lot of money. They should also be accountable. A lot of words that has also now erupted. Let's listen in to what Kapil Sibal had to say. The law minister has also complained about the fact that there are a couple of small number of big lawyers. They make a lot of money, which means. that the smaller ones don't get a chance and then also the fact is that if people want to go clients want to go they are sometimes forced having to pay these hefty fees your response to that sir well, i think that the next time a client wants to decide which lawyer to go to he must ask mr riju the law minister as to who he should go to i guess it's the client's choice he wants to go to and nobody forces any client to pay x y or z and of course there are a small number of politicians who also make a lot of money and uh, mr riju must also make sure that they are accountable and why should uh, only a few people make money in politics well, let everybody make money so mr sibal you are a veteran in the field I mean, obviously I mean, this is such this is i mean i don't expect such statements from the law minister quite frankly mm. he uh, he has some strange ideas about the court and about how court functions and what the duties of a judge are um, 
And I think that uh, he needs to come to court. Let me also now bring in my colleague and senior editor Pallavi Ghosh, who in fact has been tracking these developments for us. Pallavi, before we talk about the conversation you had with Kapil Sibbal, now the criticism coming in from the law minister against the Congress is that it was in fact the Congress party and Sonia Gandhi which had a lot of interference as far as the functioning of the judiciary was concerned as they tried to gain control over the judiciary through various steps. Are we getting any sort of official reaction from the Congress on this? Well, none as yet, and I think there's going to be a press conference later in the day. So we can expect some kind of a response coming in from the Congress party also to that later. But, you know, I remember the Congress has often been mired in a lot of controversy as far as the law ministry goes uh, and the so-called interference of the uh, executive or the legislature into the working of the judiciary. If we remember, Ashwini Kumar was uh, the law minister, and at that point of time, he was accused of interfering in the proceedings of the CBI investigation into the coal scam. At that point of time, also, this debate had come up inside parliament about whether the judiciary was being interfered and dictated by the executive and the legislature. Pallavi, now getting to the kind of reactions that you're getting, you had a conversation with Kapil Sibbal. The other criticism also is that why do we have such a small pool of these top lawyers? And as you rightly asked Kapil Sibbal, then clients possibly being forced to pay a hefty amount. Of course, Kapil Sibbal took a very sarcastic dig. But what else did you tell you when you had that conversation with him? Well, I mean, you know, it's understandable. He's one of the most senior advocates of Supreme Court, a very veteran lawyer. And he's often been very vocal about the fact, both inside and outside Parliament, that how in the present times, the judiciary's rights are being infringed upon. We have so-called friendly judges. Uh, we have a judiciary who comes under pressure from the executive and the legislature. So this whole idea of three institutions, or pillars of democracy, being a cross and check system, that has completely gone away. He's also been very, very critical of this whole collegium debate, which has come out from the government. Uh, in fact, when I did speak to him on many other topics later, he told me that, you know, the appointment of the judges is something which should not be interfered with by the executive or by the legislature because if you have friendly judges or friendly appointments, then how can you expect that kind of a, a non-partisan judgment coming in from the judiciary? Okay. Well,